Hey guys, okay, uh, doing a quick video. Uh, this video is for, uh, this is a Toyota. Hold on. I show you, just in case you're, you're working on a car and you're not sure about the code. Well, this is a Toyota brand, so you would look under the hood and on the, on the, um, the, the sticker here, you'll see it says 2AZFE. That's how you know what type of engine you have. It's very, it's very convenient when you're ordering parts for the engine to know that as far as a year make and model. This engine, well, this happens to be a 2007 Toyota Solara, but this engine is in Camrys. It's in, I believe, the RAD4. So I took the engine out and I figured, let me do a video on how to do the timing. I've, obviously, you'll be doing the timing in the car probably, but I have the engine out so it's easier to see when you have when you have the engine in the car, you can see, uh, you can get a better picture of what you're doing. That's my point. All right. Now, this is the timing mark. This is a uh, top dead. The, the engine's at top dead center. All right. It's got a groove. Yeah, I'm trying to right. And then there will be a colored link here. Uh, this I'm reusing the timing chain, so the link paint came off, but I had I, I marked it anyway. That it's going to have a, a, a different color link, so it'll be easier if you're going to do yours. If not, you're going to have to put a piece. Of, you have to put some paint. All right, top that center. Over here, you're going to have top that center. You're going to see there's a little square thick line. That's top that center, and there'll be paint on there. If not, you would have to put your own paint once you put the car at, the, at top that center. Okay, you come down to the crank, and same thing. It's going to have over here. Over here, it's gonna have a dot, and it's gonna have a color link. If it doesn't have a color link, you're gonna to have to put your own paint. So what you would do is put top dead center on the compression stroke. That means that you have, when, you're, when you're cranking the engine over, if it's sucking air in, and the number one cylinder is the one near the front of the timing cover. That's the number one cylinder. If you're sucking in air, you're on not, you're not on a compression stroke. It has to be pressurized. You would have to turn it again, until you hear air psh, coming out of number one cylinder. You know you're on your compression stroke. You line the, mar the mark up pretty much. This is probably like around three o'clock. And you would make sure that your timing mark on the top is pretty much where this one is and where that one is. Okay, that's, that's, your, uh, that's the timing. Now if you want to do oil pump, which if you're replacing an oil pump, matter of fact, this one does have the painted um, link, and that's there's a dot there. I made it white so it's, it's easy to see on the on the crank. And then on the other side, you could actually see right here in the back. There's a color link, and there's a, also another dot. It's in line with the front dot that does the main timing chain, and that's how you get the engine and timing. All right, guys. If you like the video or you got any questions or I helped you out a little bit, man, that's my goal, you know. Uh, just give me a like, subscribe. I'm going to have tons of videos in the future. And, you know, if I can help somebody out, that's what this is all about, guys. All right. Take it easy.